Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're examining our picks for the 10 times Jimmy Carr caused massive outrage. For this list, we'll be looking at scandalous moments throughout the comedian's career that made the public really, really uncomfortable or angry. Mocking Hawking Stephen Hawking was a national treasure. Even when battling motor neuron disease, his genius and sense of humour captured the hearts of many. So when Jimmy Carr mentioned in his routine that he sent a joke letter to the physicist, people were unsettled. But especially with its content, Carr claimed his son had a similar disease and wanted to set up a play date between him and Hawking. But equally, he has a great spirit and refuses to give in on a world all too ready to dismiss him as a four-eyed, monotonal, voice-box, wheelchair-bound freak. Amazingly, the scientist responded. While he wasn't able to play, he sent Carr's son balloon ride tickets. Deservedly, the comedian felt guilty. I did briefly consider crippling my younger brother to take him off the <laughs> Years later, the two met in person, and Carr came clean about the letter. Strangely, they became friends, even doing shots together. So do you see him quite often? Or? Yeah. Does he come to your house? Yeah. 9-11 Direction Making jokes about 9-11 is simply too much for many people. As such, comedians usually avoid it. But not Carr. During the Netflix is a Joke Festival, he compared the tragedy with the breakup of the pop band One Direction. Yep. Not great. But he made it worse. Carr mentioned in his routine that Zayn Malik leaving the group was like 9-11 to him and that he didn't care about either. Some people are looking at me like 9-11, steady on. And other people are looking at me like One Direction, don't take their name in vain. It didn't take long for people to criticise his uncomfortable joke. But it's not the first time Carr went too far in a routine about the tragedy. During the Comedy Central roast of Rob Lowe, he mocked the passing of Pete Davidson's father during the event. This is not the roast of Pete Davidson's father. That was in 2001. Soldier Jibe. If there's one thing the public tends to despise, it's making light of terrible injuries sustained by soldiers. During his tour in 2009, Carr got into steaming hot water with one dark joke in particular. Well, they were all injured during service and... <laughs> And they thought we might as well have a sports day, come on. The comedian claimed that the amputees that fought in Iraq and Afghanistan would give Britain a great Paralympic team for 2012. The media jumped on this and slated Carr. This sparked politicians to get involved in the controversy. Even then Prime Minister Gordon Brown's office made a statement condemning it. This caused Carr to issue a public apology. He also removed the joke from his routine. Uncomfortable art. A debate as long as time is whether we can separate the views or actions of an artist from the pieces they've created. And in 2022, this was explored in Jimmy Carr Destroys Art, with their take on cancel culture. The programme had work by controversial figures, with experts debating whether the art should be destroyed or not. The studio audience then chooses to save one of two pieces, with the loser being set ablaze. Art by Rolf Harris, Pablo Picasso, Eric Gill and Adolf Hitler was involved. Channel 4 found itself being criticised for buying the dictator's work for the show. Charities and the public were angry at the concept and didn't believe work by these people should be seen as entertainment. Dwarfism slander. Taking shots at marginalised people is not going to go down well, as Carr found out in 2019. During his terribly funny tour, he reportedly questioned whether people with dwarfism were those that survived an attempted abortion. Many of those from the dwarfism community were understandably angry at the comment, resulting in the charity Little People UK slating Carr's joke. But this isn't the only time he's made people uncomfortable with a punchline about the same subject. Carr similarly mocked people with dwarfism in 2015 when appearing on The One Show by including his two-word wisequack dwarf shortage so he could pack more jokes into the show. If, if you're are. a dwarf well, and you're see. offended by that, grow up. The Down Syndrome Backlash In 2012, the 8 out of 10 Cats host decided that those with Down Syndrome should be his next target. For context, the children's charity Variety has a service that provides coaches to take disabled children to school. During his gig, Carr mocked the name Sunshine Variety Coaches by claiming it shouldn't be called that since the children, in his words, look the same. After being slated by organisations such as Down's Heart Group, Carr's apology was not great. After seeing the number of times he said it on tour without an issue, 
Carr gave the infamous I'm sorry if you were offended non-apology, which annoyed people further. And on Absolute Radio, he claimed that for comedians, everything was up for grabs. Daddy issues. After the comedian's mother passed away in 2001, his relationship with his father, Jim Carr Sr., deteriorated rapidly. In 2004, Carr and his brother tried taking their dad to court for harassment, but it was thrown out. Jim then successfully sued the Evening Standard for libel, getting a transcript of an interview between his son and a journalist in case he wanted to sue Jimmy. Over the years, the comedian has mentioned his father off and on, claiming in Rob Beckett and Josh Widdicombe's podcast that he hadn't seen him for 21 years. After taking shots at his dad in Jimmy's 2021 book Before and Laughter, Carr Sr. slated his son's comedy wherever possible. In 2022, he announced plans to sue Jimmy for defamation. Mothed up. In early 2006, the BBC was forced to publicly apologise for broadcasting an upsetting Jimmy Carr joke on Radio 4's Loose Ends programme in late 2005. The issue stemmed from the British-Irish comedian's insult to the travelling community. He claimed that male subspecies of moths could smell their female counterparts miles away. He then compared the traveller community to this. Anne Badgett, representing the Travellers' Council, publicly denounced the jibe. While mentioning she was angry and upset, she wasn't surprised that it had happened, as the community was regularly targeted by the media at the time. Carr refused to apologise for his joke. The Traveller Joke When people talk about the Holocaust, it's not every day that a comedian makes a horribly offensive joke that causes the Prime Minister to slate it, but that was what Jimmy Carr experienced in 2022. During his 2021 Netflix special titled His Dark Material, Carr decided to talk about the horrors of concentration camps in World War II, and spoke about how many Jewish people lost their lives. He then mentioned how no one talks about the loss to the travelling community, because no one wants to discuss the positive. Carr defended the joke as educational gypsies, homosexuals, disabled people, and Jehovah's Witnesses. Later during a gig, in response to the scandal, he claimed cancel culture was destroying comedy. Carr was heavily criticised by many for his hate speech wrapped up in a punchline. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Tax Evasion If there's one thing that really annoys the British public, it's the wealthy using loopholes and schemes to not pay their fair share of tax. Just look at the responses to the recent cases in the government. Back in 2012, Jimmy Carr was one such person. But I mean, that's the, that's the thing. If you leave it up to people's morality, you've mm. got to understand there's quite a lot of people like me that have got a morality that's flexible. He used the K2 scheme to avoid paying a higher amount of tax. While not illegal, it's definitely morally dodgy. With all the backlash, including the then Prime Minister David Cameron ridiculing him, Carr apologised for being involved and removed himself from the service. You know you did something that was, you know, morally very questionable and you kind of go, well, okay. Yeah. You know, and you, and you just have to man up. Years later, Carr claimed he paid everything back that he avoided and called on the government to close all tax loopholes. But for some, he might not have had this opinion if he was never caught. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.